Well, let's talk to Francis Coppola, who's an independent banking analyst. Uh, good to see you again, Francis. Welcome back to the program. Uh, so, Hello. HSBC restructuring under this new CEO. Uh, is this a move that makes good business sense? Um, it does make some sense. Um, no, the Eastern business and Western business are, in many respects, very different. Um, you know, they, 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 the Eastern business dominates financially. Um, it's a different regulatory environment, a different culture, many respects to very different um, customers and so forth. Um, trying to manage all of that as um, one business or divided kind of by, by function rather than by geography is quite a management stretch, you know, differences in geography and time zone and so forth. So in some respects, it does make sense. Um, I have some concerns, though, that it's kind of playing to what a certain activist investor kind of wanted, and I do wonder whether it's going to start um, waking up that particular ghost again. Well, does this uh, east-west split, if you like, uh, do both of those sides effectively benefit from that separation in terms of appeal, perhaps, to those two different sets of customers? Well, in the sense that it could make management a little bit more local, and perhaps therefore a little bit more responsive to um, the, the needs in those particular regions, yes. But I think it's more likely um, to generate some cost savings in terms of senior management, to be honest. I think it's, it's more that, that um, the, the, the stretch of managing across borders is quite considerable. So we've got these uh, four new divisions now, including a new international wealth and premier banking division. Uh, what does that say about the kind of customers HSBC wants to attract? Well, I think the way I read this was we've got these two geographical centres, the East and the West, which are a little bit more local. They're, you know, they're servicing retail and um, uh, smaller businesses and so forth. And then we've got these two global divisions. We've got the bringing together of commercial and investment banking, which um, will resolve some of the turf issues that there have been between those two and the overlap and hopefully generate some synergies. I would expect to see some cost savings, probably some job cuts um, to bring those together and then of course the wealth management division now it makes a lot of sense in a way to have those two divisions as global because their customers are global I mean you know big corporations are global beasts they don't divide themselves geographically it makes no sense to try and manage them on a geographical basis and um, wealth management customers their assets will be managed globally as well so in a way that makes quite a bit of sense to to structure it that way Let's talk about uh, the appointment of the first female chief financial officer for the bank. Uh, it's a big moment. It is, although I must confess that I long for the time when it isn't that the appointment of a female chief financial officer is, doesn't make headline news. It's simply the appointment of a chief financial officer and we don't care whether it, what, what their gender is. I mean, it just shows that we still have some dis distance to go before women in senior positions is entirely normal. Um, but it's, it's another step along that road, so it's good to see. Francis, great to talk to you today. Thank you for joining us. Francis Coppola there, the independent banking analyst.